I think of uh, being vulgar as a state of being, really. And it could be objects too. Objects can be vulgar. People can be vulgar. And I think that, uh, for instance, the behavior of a nouveau riche person can be vulgar. But I can't put my finger on why I think that. And often it's to do with possibly being immodest, um, emphasizing um, the idea of having more than somebody else, and generally showing off what you have. Of course, the ultimate hat of this country is a crown. You know, the Queen doesn't really wear, well, she does wear the royal shoe, but the thing that you see, which is a symbol of her, is a crown. And the adjective of being crowned, uh, all these different words around the idea of crown are incredibly potent. Um, I mean, you call it the crown of your head, the crown of the hat. This whole idea of superiority or authority and of God is contained, and of wealth, is contained with, within this metal hat, which is essentially what it is. Um, and I think crowns around the world, not only in Western societies, have always signified power. I mean, for example, in Papua New Guinea, the most glorious birds of paradise are reserved for the chief and he will wear those on his head. He's not going to attach them to his feet. The dress from my gold section, my gold collection, that you have in the exhibition was when I look back to the Elizabethan area, era with panniers. I'd already done experiments with pleating and I'd produced a wonderful jacket that's now considered a classic. And it was a case of thinking, can we do something else? Can we, can we make it into a wonderful dress with royalty? And then paired with using Andrew Logan crowns and the whole thing um, was really, to me, a wonderful experiment that if it had been not just me doing the experiment, but on a mass scale, then it immediately becomes non-vulgar. As a designer, you've always got to prepare to put your head on the block and sometimes you get it chopped off. Sometimes I end up hardly selling anything, but it will be a wonderful moment in history that will be remembered.